Hi Aries, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And give me a sec. Just give me a minute to look at the cards, please. All right, let's start one by one. Overall energy, we do have the Six of Pentacles with the Lovers here, all right? So it looks like there is a very strong soulmate, twin flame connection that you're experiencing right now, okay? The problem here is there is a lot of love, there is a lot of emotions, but it when it actually comes to this person giving you, putting in that effort, putting in that investment into this relationship, that's when it becomes a one-sided situation. So there could be... Um, a situation where you may need to make a choice of whether you want to continue being with this person or not or there could be a choice of how deeper you want to get into a commitment with this person all right but there is a very strong connection here the problem here is that this person is not being able to reciprocate the, the, the amount of energy or the amount of love that you're putting in okay which is third has making you very very guarded right now with the nine of wands here this is you. You're very guarded right now with the Nine of Wands here. Now, this Nine of Wands is the energy of being very, very guarded, being, uh, you know, your cards are up, you're being very, very defensive, okay? But this could also be because of your experiences with this person out here, okay? And the biggest challenge out here is the Knight of Pentacles here, which means that there is someone here who's moving towards you. But the problem here is with the Knight of Pentacles, they're moving very slowly towards you, okay? That's slow and steady movement. But... It's almost like it's just not moving towards you, okay? Maybe you're someone who wants quick movement here or because there's been a very long time that you've been with this person and uh, you still have that little bit of perseverance left. You're at the end of the rope. You're still ready to fight for this, but ready to give that one last shot. But the challenge out here, the problem here is that this person's moving too slowly towards you. The Knight of Pentacles is usually the energy of someone who's very slow, very steady, but again, very committed, okay? So you're dealing with a very stubborn lover, someone very, very hardworking. But the problem here is that with the Knight of Pentacles, this person is more focused on their career, their routine, their goals, okay? Love is not a priority for them, and they just want to take baby steps, okay? So yeah, they want commitment, but just not today or just not tomorrow, okay? It's going to take a very long time if you're looking for a commitment from this person. And that's something that you've been waiting and waiting. You could have been going through cycles with this person, okay? This could be a repetitive cycle. You feel like now this person's going to put in all the work and the effort towards you and every time you're just disappointed, okay? But yeah, you seem to be quite exhausted, beaten, wounded, like, I mean, you know, pretty fed up with this person here. But I do see you as holding on to that one last one in order to fight this one more time. On your mind, you literally feel like you need to make a decision about this person, okay? You're at a crossroads right now because you're fed up and you're very close to giving up. You're like, you know what? Are we doing this or not? That's all you give a shit about. Because with the page of pentacles in reverse here, you're dealing with someone who's right now, probably you're lacking the communication. There is a lack of communication here, okay? This person can make a proper approach towards you, but there's constant procrastination in this pro in this person's mind. Should they, should they not, okay? But they're making things more difficult than they seem. In the past here, with the Seven of Swords and Reverse, I feel this person was guilty and they tried to, you know, turn a new leaf. This person was guilty. They tried to make an honest approach in coming towards you. But in the near future, it looks like you are letting this person go. I feel you're probably going to make a decision or right now there's been a separation between you guys. But in the near future, this is this person. If you guys are not talking right now or if you guys are uh, have had a fallout, they're coming back with the Eight of Cups and Reverse here. But for you... Uh, what you are doing with the page of wands in reverse and the fool in reverse, you think this person's a big fat risk. You're not ready to risk this anymore because you've been through back and hell, okay, through hell and back with this person and now you have huge trust issues. You Till you don't have a guarantee of what this person's going to do next or what you guys have in future, you're just not ready to take that risk with this person, okay? Because this person's more like a buzzkill kind of energy, okay? They just kill the vibe. They just kill your mood by going in so slow and, you know, by being so in and out, in and out of your life. The good part is I don't see the wands here. I do see the knight here, okay? But we have the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse here. Both these cards tell me this is someone who's very bland when it comes to love. Love is just not on their mind. They do have the basic feelings for you, but when it comes to putting in that effort, that's when it's the six of pentacles in reverse here. 
you know what i don't get here yeah, aries that this person does not love you or i don't get that this person is purposely trying to hurt you i just feel that, that your focus and their focus is very very different okay your focus is love their focus is probably their goals their money they're the they, they belong more to the materialistic world than to the romantic world okay however i do see them returning back in the near future here okay but with the eight of swords here what's in your environment is your it's going to leave you a little confused here and from the eight you're going to the ten here which means that there is going to be something that's going to end okay there's going to be an ending to something you know the ten of swords is something ended badly okay but this is also a lot of stress and exhaustion that's coming to an end but we're gonna see okay because on your mind with the two of wands you're already wanting to make a decision about something all right tell me why the six of pentacles in reverse Tell me why the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me why the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Ah, oh, Empress in reverse. Aries, you're being very insecure right now. I'm just going to say it. Like I said, I don't see this person as someone who literally wants to harm you or someone who's doing things intentionally to hurt you, okay? Of course, I don't see a lot of emotions on their side. But the problem here is that Aries, you have an issue with your insecurities. You know you have what it takes. You're an independent person, Aries. You're absolutely okay on your own. You know, you got that whole, you got the ball rolling, okay? You can call the shots. But the thing is that your, your issue with micromanaging, you probably just want to control the situation too much, okay? And it's your own emotions that are getting in the way of uh, your growth and expansion with this person out here. Like I said, this person is probably just not being able to match the amount of investment that you put in. And that's what's stopping the growth, okay? That's what's stopping the growth. But it's because you're just not letting this person be themselves. You're probably forcing them to be what you want them to be, is what I'm getting. Tell me, what is the Knight of Wands? Why the Knight of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands here? See, the moon in reverse here. There is something that could have been revealed with the moon in reverse here, okay? Probably you're fed up and you're just wanting to release the situation because it's bringing in a lot of stress, a lot of fear and anxiety here. You do love this person very, very much, okay, with the king of cups here. But the thing is that this person's, like I said, the reciprocity is on a different level. They are probably putting in, but not as much as you want them to. But yeah, you want to release any kind of anxiety that comes with this okay but right now i think see that's what i'm saying you're having a very hard time trusting your intuition aries you are this is more of you know so when the moon is in upright this could be someone who's deceiving you their secrets but to me when it's in the reverse this is self-deception you need to check with yourself if you are feeling that someone's being deceptive to you you need to check with yourself are you trying to deceive yourself is this your own insecurities is this your own a worry and anxiety that is coming in between and are you having a hard time trusting your intuition because that's exactly what you're doing the only problem is that this person is just moving too slowly towards you but you feel they're just not doing anything about it uh why the two of wands why the two of wands yeah you need to make a decision but look see this is exactly what's happening aries you want quick movement that's exactly what i was picking up you want quick movement you want that fast-paced energy you know you want things to move now you're dealing with someone who's moving very slowly but very steadily okay this person has a routine they take baby steps towards you and you're taking those dragon you know those um godzilla steps you know that's the difference out here otherwise i don't see anything wrong with this person out here and that's what's your ins that's why the moon card's coming up because this is your own deception this is your own fear and anxiety and insecurity okay you're not you're not being able to trust your intuition you're letting emotions trying to come and control you okay but yeah you want quick movement and that's why you're like come on make a decision now in or out you know and this person's like just going to go about their way, their routine, you know, they're going to do what they have to do because you're dealing with someone who's stubborn as fuck. Let me just make it very clear to you. They're very conservative. All right. Uh, why the page of pentacles in reverse? 
Yeah, say page of pentacles in reverse with the king of wands or you're dealing with someone who's constantly procrastinating. You want this person to take action towards you. Whilst this person is constantly holding back, okay, they're procrastinating, they're thinking about what to do next. You know what I'm getting? Now with the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse here, I'm getting you're dealing with someone who's a perfectionist, okay? A, this person's going to take their own time to come towards you. B, this person's not going to take any action or they're constantly going to be in two minds unless and until they see that something's just not perfect, okay? They want that perfect environment. They want that perfect situation in order to put in that investment. But for right now, they're not putting in the investment, okay? And you want them to take action with the king of wands here. That's the problem out here. That's exactly what the problem is. You want this person to boss up. Not only boss up, you want this person to take the action now. You're in a hurry, all right? You're not being able to wait. And this person, someone who, I mean, really Aries, you want commitment from this person, it's coming. But don't expect this to come yesterday or tomorrow or this week, okay? It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. They're going to take their own time and they don't give a shit to what, whether you want to stay back or not. Um... Well, tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse here. Why the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why the Eight of Cups in reverse? I'm getting that you guys probably have split. Okay, see, Eight of Cups in reverse with a Six of Swords in reverse here. In the near future here, there is someone here who's still not being able to walk away. But the problem here is that there is still going to be a negative pattern that is going to be repeating itself over and over and over again, okay? You're dealing with someone here. Could be you, could be them, could be both of you all, okay? Take it how it resonates. But there is definitely someone out here who's either returning back, they tried to move on, but they couldn't. Or this is just someone who just cannot move on because they're too emotionally invested into this relationship. But again, they're coming back. But when they come back, are they... Uh, is there forward movement? No. There is no forward movement because there is the same shitty cycle repeating itself again with the Six of Swords in reverse here. This is someone who's making things more difficult than it seems. It does because you're just dealing with someone very stubborn here, okay? And you're stubborn. I'm getting like the stalemate energy, okay? You've both dug your heels here. This is what you want. This is what they want. And there is no meeting in between you know and the same cycles are being repeated in the near future here you know which is like that bus kill energy for you like i said you know that's just like killing the vibe because you want that new fresh energy you want that enthusiasm etc and you're just dealing with someone who's really dull you know you're probably your love life could be really boring with this person here because this is just someone who is more about their materialistic world and more about their work and their goals rather than love love is a very very small part of their lives and probably for you it's absolutely opposite for you probably it's like come on give me something to work on right Maybe they tried to avoid commitment in the past or they tried to avoid giving you what you really deserve in the past, okay? But they felt guilty, but they still tried coming back to you in the past, okay? And you probably took them back, but then things still didn't pan out the way you wanted to and you've just been fed up since then, yeah? Uh, tell me about the page of wands in reverse. Why are you the page of wands? I mean, you're, you're, using, you're losing that mojo, that spark in this relationship, okay? You're, you're, you're just not wanting to take any action towards this person and you're just you're not communicating. You know, that spark, that... Yeah, see, chariot in reverse here. Something's just not moving forward. You don't have that willingness and determination to move things forward with this person here because your emotions are going all over the place here. The chariot in reverse is an imbalance here, okay, for sure. If you want to make things successful, okay, the chariot, in, the chariot is the card of someone, you know, success happens only to those who are willing and determined to move things forward, okay? Whoever comes in, this is like that uh, forward moment, like I, I am unstoppable. But right now, there's what is stopping you from moving forward or moving towards this person is that lack of spark, that lackluster, you know? You're just bored. You're too bored to pursue this relationship anymore. And that's putting this person in this confused state, okay, with Eight of Swords here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords? Okay. Page of Cups in reverse here. Yeah, see? You're dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable, okay? 
and that's what's happening you're dealing with someone who just wants to see things from a more realistic perspective okay this could just be you who's very confused with what's happening and it's forcing you to stop being that emotional you know stop giving this an emotional approach and you're just wanting to see things from a, a more realistic point of view it's like for you it's like it is what it is you know you don't want to be in that dreamy stage anymore you don't want to be in that fairy tale anymore because this person's pretty much something's been revealed here with the moon in reverse here okay or there is just you just see the truth in this person okay and you probably just feel that this is someone who you feel that this person is someone who just does not want to make a move towards you or who's just not interested in you but page of cups in reverse here you're just lacking that communication there's a lack of communication here you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very immature okay and this could be someone who's giving you those mixed signals because they're coming back but again they're doing the same thing over and over again okay they cannot move on from you you know and every time they come back to you you feel that you know there's something better that's happening but this time you're ending a cycle with this person for sure someone does not want to be vulnerable you know someone does not want to be vulnerable they want to keep things real Tell me about the fool in reverse, please. Why is the fool in reverse here? What is the fool in reverse? The world in reverse. Okay, yeah. Because see, you feel there is unfinished business between you and this person again. But then something's probably um, not over. There is a karmic cycle that's not over. Yes, we do have the ten of swords here. But this is the swords, right? I mean, it's almost like... Um, uh, this is like an ending to any kind of um, stress, anxiety. And um, let's see. But the world in reverse is definitely unfinished business, okay? You know that there is unfinished business between you guys. But the thing is that you don't want to take a risk, okay? You probably want to leave it unfinished. Because you're definitely dealing with someone who could be living at a distance from you. But you you know what the thing is? Like I said before, the, the world in reverse, repeating negative patterns, doing the same thing over and over again. You're not being able to come to that full sense of completion with this person, you know? Because there's something stuck. You're not learning your lessons or they're not learning their lessons. That's why you're doing the same thing, you know, going around in circles. That's what I told you here with the six of swords in reverse here. They keep coming back. But the thing is, have they come back with... I mean, uh, some changed attitude or a changed behavior? No. That's why you're just losing interest in this person now. And the person that you're dealing with, with Eight of Swords, they're coming in their own way. They're in their own way because they refuse to open up emotionally. Because, again, like I said, pentacles, right? I just see more pentacles from this person. They're just very focused on the materialistic aspect of life. You know, they're not very uh, focused on their emotions. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is this the likely outcome for Aries? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Looks like there is an ending here. Okay. But with the Ace of Wands, yeah, there is a new beginning here. Yeah. So I like this Ten of Swords because this is an ending, right? So I think you're probably even starting, but I like the Queen of Pentacles on this. So it does look like with this Ten of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, it looks like there is an ending to a commitment here or there is an ending here to some kind of investment, okay? Maybe you feel like you've invested into something wrong that has ended badly where you feel very backstabbed and betrayed by this person here. But definitely some kind of investment is coming to an end here, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Aries, I feel this is you who really, really wanted this very badly with this person here, okay? But you've given your all. But looks like things are just not reaching to that point of stability, okay? Not reaching that point of security because you can definitely see that energetic difference between you guys with the Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles here. You're ready to settle down. You're ready to be with this person. You're probably even wanting marriage commitment with this person. You're ready. But the person you're dealing with is not ready for you. That's why you, keep, you guys keep going around in circles, you know? It's like they want this, right? But the speed at which you're expecting this to happen that's the problem out here. It won't go as fast as you want. And that's why you land up being betrayed. And that's why you land up feeling like you're invested in the wrong relationship or the wrong person here.
see you you yourself you also know there is unfinished business you also feel that something has just abruptly ended out here but you don't want to take a risk again with this person because this person puts you in your hair i mean you know this person's probably just very very confused here and they're coming in their own way okay they're just coming in their own way but I definitely feel like you're ending things with this person, at least for now. I mean, remember, this is just for the week. So for now, with the Ten of Swords, is also putting an end to that overthinking and overanalyzing, okay? So yeah, you could be putting an over an ending to that kind of, that feeling like a martyr, feeling like a victim kind of uh, mentality, you know? But with the Queen of Pentacles here, it, something does feel like uh, a disappointment, okay? You feel like you invested into the wrong person here because they don't just don't, uh, they just don't seem to pick up pace and you're just repeating the negative pattern again and again and that's something that's just annoying you with the page of wands in reverse here and now you're like you know what no more i mean i've gone through shit with you i've gone through hell and i don't want to give this another chance because um you need a guarantee probably you know you're like you know what if you're coming back around this time you know you better do things right or then don't come back at all they are coming back but are they changing are they doing things differently no so that's what i have for you aries stop micromanaging aries stop it you're being very codependent on this person that's kind of clingy and needy also you're okay on your own you're the empress out here okay if you let this person be they will come towards you but you have got to live in the present you're not you're trying to control you're you're living in the past and you're trying to control the future okay you're trying to control the outcome that's the biggest issue here that's why we because that's what's clarifying the six of pentacles in reverse here that's why there's this imbalance here that's why you feel you're not getting what you deserve because you're codependent on this person to give you what you deserve the empress is someone who knows what she deserves and she gives it to her she doesn't wait for anyone to give it to her for anyone to endorse her or anyone to make her feel worth it that's what i'm getting yeah so i hope this reading resonates with you aries uh like share subscribe and leave your comments below i'd love to hear from you bye 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 bye